keep grinding it out, you never know what could happen. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Event six. Woo. Going over the Skyway again. <laughs> uh, had a little mishap this morning. Got all the way past Tyro Mall and forgot my dang power pole spike had to whip it around and head back home should have been at the launch 20 minutes ago so instead of there being being there at 6 uh looking at like 619 620 but it's all good you know things happen for a reason and uh you know went back got it i'm glad i didn't get all the way down here and didn't have it so glad i was able to whip back around go grab my power pole spike and uh head back down south so all I need today is a uh, 25-inch red, 25-inch snook, or you know, 20-inch. You know, I, I don't need a whole lot. I need like 50 inches of fish between three fish. I think I can do it. It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna grind through it. And uh, let's let's go get this thing, man. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, let's go get this. Let's end the season on a high note. Let's go. Woo! Lost the one earlier, but got a second chance at one finally. <sighs> Thank goodness, dude. Whew. I needed that. I need that big time, bro. Huge, that is huge right there. 20, just a little over 21 and a half. On the board. Little snook. Well, really stinking it up today. I can't do anything. I can't get any bites. I can't catch anything. I can't find nothing. I'm struggling again. Found something to start the morning. Lost the bigger snook, but luckily I caught one after. It. So we didn't leave that spot empty-handed, but shoot, I have only caught a snook and a flounder since then. That was at uh, eight o'clock. It's like 12.30 right now. I've tried everything I could think of. Nothing's working. Bunch of different presentations, colors, spots, deep, shallow, mud, grass. I've fished my butt off today and I just can't figure it out. Um, tide's starting to go out now. I probably got like an hour to fish, and then uh, that's all she wrote. All I have right now is a snook, 21 inch snook. That's it. Uh, I mean, a 20 inch red would have been great. I can get a 20 inch red, that would help out, but shoot, I can't even get that. So, just keep grinding it out. You never know what could happen. Well, I finally got the bite I was looking for that's a little bit of finger mullet kind of moving around I flipped my minnows in there and got smoked by a really nice red set the hook and I was standing up everything was perfect the eat was perfect fish garbage the bait I could feel him his teeth rubbing on my leader and he came and gave one head shake and boop, 
shook the hook. I would have sealed it right there. Ugh, this sucks. This really sucks, dude. That would have been it. I really needed that fish. It was probably like a 25, 26 inch red. It's a beautiful fish. The hook's just pulled. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Well, now we really have uh, to really grind it out now. I got an hour, pretty much. So, see if we can't get another one to bite. A few moments later. Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Oh my god! 130! Ah! <laughs> Yes! Woo! Oh, baby, yeah! Oh, my God, yeah! 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 Oh, man, I love that feeling, baby! Woo! Watch him come up behind it! Woo! And hit it! Woo! <laughs> oh, there's no video of me catching that one because I ain't messing around, boy. I chase this thing. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Oh man! Man! Did I ever need this fish? Oh! I. You can tell I love this. You can tell I love this, baby. It don't even feel real right now. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Right stuff, minnows. Oh my God. I cast that what I thought might have been some fish and this fish came out of the grass and smoked it. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Let's go, baby. I have struggled so much today. You guys have absolutely no clue how much I've struggled today. All right, stuff minnows. Mwah. Sometimes this jig head works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll never know. I'll never learn. I don't know what it is, but sometimes some fish pop off and I somehow got a second chance. I didn't forget what happened the first time. Let's have a quick look at this fish. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Backwater red. Uh, I love it, man. Absolutely love it. Uh, thank you so much. I can't believe that just happened. Man, I don't know what's going on. Oh, someone just hit my catch junior right there. I don't know what that was. Um, so that spot that I caught that redfish, I haven't fished there in at least 10, maybe 12 years. I remember fishing it when I was a kid, and I think I might have fished a tournament there a long time ago, because I remember fishing the wilderness systems, and I have a picture of it, like up on the sand there at a low tide. But man, I, don't, I can't believe I went back in there, lost a fish, like the most perfect hook set and everything, pulls out, hook pulls out, and then 20 minutes later, after feeling like the end of the world, so I lost that fish. You know how it is. If you're a fisherman and you lose a fish, especially on tournament day, it's just like getting punched in the gut. But to be able to sight fish one, it's unreal. Especially at a spot that I haven't fished in so long. I remember going back there with my buddy Merrick a long, long time ago. And I know we went back up in there, I think it was during the summer, and there was a lot of mullet back up in there. And we just stroked and we were catching so many redfish and snook. I mean, they weren't monsters, but they're all like slot sized fish. <clears throat> but I just remember that. And I was like, you know what? I got to whip over there and, and try. And I saw some redfish there. You know, I was seeing them, you know, just scooting around. And I was like, got to hook one. One's got to be dumb enough to eat it. Uh, luckily, I tricked two and one stayed on. So got to figure out if it's going to be enough to win the championship. Hopefully. 
I think it will, but you never know. Let's go. All right, so finally have an ending to this tournament video. And we're on, and we're on. What are the odds of that? Just fun fishing today on the flats. And uh, you've got like a small snook here or something. That worked out pretty good, huh? Little snookers. So, event six did not go the way I thought it would. Little snook on the right stuff, paddlers. Event six didn't go the way I wanted it to. It was a really hard day of fishing. Struggled. Couldn't really put anything together. Couldn't find really anything. Uh, lost the snook right off the bat. And then uh, pretty much struggled to get a, a second fish all morning. Uh, caught a small like 21 or 22 inch snook. Actually it was 21, 21 and a half I think it was. Um, that was my first fish of the morning. And then pretty much just struggled the rest of the day. Couldn't really find anything. A lot of boats, a lot of kayaks. And um, luckily around one o'clock I was able to find some redfish. And then I had two chances at some redfish. Lost the first one, which was just the biggest stomach ache ever, like the worst feeling ever. Uh, and then I was able to get redemption just minutes later, catch a redfish, and that pretty much sealed the deal. So it was a really hard day of fishing. Let me just tell you that. Um, grinded it out and was able to uh, keep my first place status for the championship. So I was able to go back to back this year and uh, really stoked for next year to go and try and get the three peat. That would be insane. Uh, like I said, nothing's ever guaranteed. And that's the thing that really annoyed the crap out of me because everybody was saying, oh, you know, you got this in the bag, you got this in the bag. Just because you're leading something doesn't mean that you're gonna win, especially when your lead's only 36 inches because I can go and not catch a dang thing all day if someone catches two 20 inch fish, you know, it's a done deal, you know? So, uh, got a fish to the very end. Doesn't matter if you're ahead or below in the standings, he's got a fish and grind it out, which I did. And I didn't have to catch that redfish, but when you're on the water, you don't know. You don't know what anybody else has. So I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and finally uh, got blessed with that 24 inch redfish that pretty much sealed the deal for me. Uh, anybody that was um, second place, I think had to get like 81 inches to catch up. So um, one, I'm done. I'm happy that tournaments are over. I can take a break, have some fun, just do some fun fishing like we're doing today. And uh, it's been a great day on the water. Caught a lot of fish. Got some snook, redfish, trout. Had a ton of fun with some bluefish. So appreciate you guys for watching these tournament videos. I know this one wasn't the greatest because I didn't catch crap all day. And there was like no actual fishing footage. But um, hopefully uh, I have some makeup videos for you guys. So appreciate you guys watching. And uh, see you next time.